hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel now today is gonna be a work from home vlog i am actually in the office full time but um yeah like it's a real opportunity that i'm working from home so i decided let me vlog and actually show you guys give you guys an insight into what i do and you know just understand what is it like to you know just graduated not too long ago working in finance and yeah so i work as a treasury analyst or you could say finance analyst i work within the treasury team um at a mortgage lender and yes yeah, so i'm going to talk you guys through what i do so i actually start at 9 a.m first thing i do when i log in is that i check my emails i make sure there isn't any like pressing issues So just to give you guys a bit of background, um, as a, um, I work within the treasury team and the treasury team work very closely with finance because, um, you know, it's all about making sure loans are approved and funding requirements, understanding what's in the account. So um, that involves a lot of um, interaction with finance, definitely. I also work closely with the underwriting team to understand like loans and how they've um you know whether the um, information about the loans are accurate um because obviously i deal with the notices making sure that those loans are actually eligible to be funded so those are the two teams i work very closely with underwriting team and the finance team just to give you guys a bit of background so the first thing i'm going to do actually so basically we have like reports that come in every day and these reports are always like a data tape with information about loans and the first thing i do is look at open this data tape and actually analyze the information make sure everything makes sense um just to give you an idea of how big the data is it's really big so in this one i've got opened there's like 289 columns yeah right honestly so there's there's a lot of information here so first thing i'm going to do i was meant to send a notice out yesterday but then i didn't have enough information about the loan so now i need to chase that up and make sure okay today i have enough information so i probably need to contact a few people because i don't understand why the information wasn't there in the place, first place um so yeah, so that's, I'm just going to get into it. That's just a bit, because I feel like I've watched some of these vlogs and people don't really explain what it is they're doing. And I just thought it would be nice to give you a bit of background rather than just watching me sit here like this. So I hope that was useful. But anyway, let me get to work. So here guys, I'm just um, typing away, sending emails to people, um, you know, to request information about um, the loans and making sure I just have everything under control before I send the notice out and just making sure that I, um, my manager approves um, all my locations and, and is happy with all the information about the loan before I send the notice out. So guys, I don't know about you all, I had to just get this quickly. But I like to, so I'm about to send an email and I like to double, triple, quadruple check everything. I'm just, uh, I'm just, I don't know. That's just me. I'm about to send this email. I just wanted to make sure all the information is correct. And the thing is deep that I know, um, I know everything is fine. But you just don't know. Sometimes your brain can be not working properly that day. Um, but yeah, just want to make sure everything's fine. So I'll just cross check in. Just making sure that the email I send has all the information about the loans I'm sending for the information and I'm, I'm sending the correct loan ID um, because yeah if it's not the loan loan ID that's a whole lot of problems but everything looks to be okay. Again, checking the email, make sure everyone that's meant to be and um, receive the email is receiving it. And making sure the date, date is everything as well. Make sure the date is correct as well because that affects a lot of things. It affects when they're going to send funding, all of that kind of stuff. So just making sure that's correct. 
I think everything is fine. Everything's good. I'm still waiting on a response from my manager because I sent him some things to apply for. You know when you're waiting for something, that's another thing about working in a corporate world. You can't move on with your tasks sometimes. Especially if you're a junior member, someone needs to take it off and make sure you know it's correct before you go ahead and do it. Even though you know they're probably gonna say yes, it's fine, but just to protect yourself, you know, just make sure you're doing things properly. This is where I write like things like take my notes um if i'm learning something write everything i'm learning hearing whatever i write it down and also this is where i'm at to do list i know some people have like a small notebook they write on but i can't have that because my handwriting is really big and i write a lot it's just not gonna be i'm gonna be turning the page every second then if i had a small notebook so that's why i needed a big one so i need to make sure that i've done the things I need to do so this thing that I've just done this morning this email I've just sent let's cut up something send it up yeah let me just take that off so this is this was my to-do list I can't show you information but just so you can see how long it is not too bad but today there'll probably be more obviously things to do um so like that and obviously in that to do list i have things that are items that can't be ticked off immediately it's just like ongoing um yeah so things that i need to do today things i need to complete in the next few days or next few weeks as well i have in the in my to-do list um So what I'm doing right now is just I'm sending a message to my uh, manager because I sent him so many emails. I need to make sure that he's actually received them because, of course, he's busy and he gets loads of emails. So I just need to make sure that he's got in my email. So I'm sending a team's message as well. So guys, the next thing I'm actually doing is to reconcile. So um, reconciliation is just making sure that um, the numbers add up. So what's going in is the same as what's coming out, essentially. So making sure that um, the loans that I've been requested for, I've actually sent out an, a notice for all of those loans and the loan ID is correct. So just tying back my work and making sure there are no loose ends so um, yeah just to give you guys an idea of what i'm doing it's really it's really good practice to do that so once you've sent something or you know you've said that that this is x amount or that is x amount no matter what kind of role you're in that oh you're saying that this is x amount so okay cool is that is there a way you can tie back to those numbers is there another source that can tie back to that number that you've just gotten is a really really good exercise hi guys welcome back so it's currently um 20 minutes past 11 a.m and um let me just give you a brief overview of what happened um so far so after from the last scene you saw after that shortly after that i was speaking to my manager we had a call and uh, you know we we're talking about the conference that we went to where you know the um where there are loads of like rating agencies investment banks and uh, yeah so just from that conversation there's a lot for um for us to catch up on it seems like there'll be a lot of work to do either starting from tomorrow or um next early next week today so far has been quite relaxed um and not too busy um but we'll, we'll see how it goes um currently my next my next task i'm focusing on and it's actually part of my to-do list and this task is the task i said um it's not something that can be finished like in the next couple of days is something that probably will take a couple of weeks to be completed but that's just gathering the epc ratings for these mortgage but and backed loans now an epc rating is just how energy efficient is a rating that lets you know how energy efficient um 
um like a house is a home is um so yeah essentially uh, energy um that epc rate is useful information for um issuing like green bonds for example so that's what i am working on right now and yeah so it's nearly um half 11 i'm hungry already i'm definitely going to take my lunch at 12 p.m and i will see you guys i think i may have sent it to you but i was if if not i'll send it again yeah i'll do that thank you bye okay so where's this email that i sent a call with an investment bank so that's one i have to join right now the manager just sent me a message hi guys welcome back and it's currently 3 40 pm again just had a call with my manager and um yeah he's been so busy um so i'm going to go ahead to like flag some loans so i'm going to do that and then um some deals have come through so there's going to be a lot of work work to do on that as well like populating investor slides um looking at data and cutting up in different ways so like you have data and then you want to produce different analytics based on that data um so you can understand the data better so that's what i'm going to be doing hi guys just to catch up with you so it is currently 4 14 4 16 like around quarter past four and right now i'm looking at a legal document so um yes yeah, to do with deals looking at a legal document extracting information and that's all i can say about that um just a heads up so i don't know if i'm gonna leave the vlog here so if i do thank you guys for watching it was a really quick snippet i hope this was useful it's not something i'm used to doing but i really hope it was useful and you have some kind of insight some even a little bit of an insight into um what it's like working in finance so i will speak to you guys later Bye.